was in the office. I was, uh, we were doing a rewrite, and my manager called me, and I was like, for which category? <laughs> and then everyone around the table started cheering, because uh, they're very nice people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not at all. I mean, I did have a, like a crazy couple weeks. I, I wish, uh, with the correspondence dinner, running the 50 mile ultra marathon, and starting the show, that all happened in like a three week yeah. period. What a whirlwind. And I was just like, this is, this is unsustainable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can't keep going on like that, but I mean still, what an incredible time for you. Yeah, it was really good. I, I got a lot accomplished in a, couple, uh, um, a short amount of time. I never think of anything in comedy as a responsibility because I think, especially right now, we're putting too much pressure on comedians to be like, truth tellers right um but like truth in the way you want to hear truth tellers you know like um which which i don't i don't like I, we're the bottom of the barrel we're not <laughs> you know like right. we're court jesters we're not just making people nothing laugh. we're doing is noble it's just we're trying to have a good time we're trying to lighten the mood um i just i think like we got to get rid of that like that what comedians say is important it's like no what we say is funny, and uh, that's really where it should, like, that's where our barometer should be. You should never look at comedian to be your philosopher. We're, right, no, that, you make a good point. <laughs> yeah, we're staying at motels in, like, Kansas, you know, like, just eating ribs and being miserable. So, I don't know, I don't think we're your moral compass. <laughs> It's hard because those are, I mean, I call those high difficulty level jokes. Like, and I think of it a lot like, you know, like, I don't know, I relate everything to sports, I'm a, I'm a real man. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, like gymnastics, you know, the first time you try like a really hard vault, you're gonna fall, you're probably gonna fall for like 50 times when you do it. You know, like it takes a lot of work to like stick that landing. And that's how I feel jokes like Me Too jokes are, where it's like, you gotta say something no one's said before. You gotta come at it at an angle that no one's really expecting you to come at it from. And you gotta make people laugh while being sensitive to the fact that it is a sensitive issue. Right. So it's just, a, it takes- Sounds like a, a lot. <laughs> it takes a really long time and like, you know, to that's why it's like, anytime anyone's watching comedy at like a club or, um, you know, like, just remember they're working on jokes, you know? Right. Like, they might be saying something for the first time, and it might not go well. It might not go for the well for the first 50 times. But uh, when you can get a joke like that to really work on, like, a topic that's very, can be very sensitive and touchy, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a good accomplishment. You know, fight back. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, uh, yeah, women, we gotta stand up and fight and, uh, you know, like we've, we've let men run things for a long time and uh, just, you know, like you gotta, you gotta take some of the power back. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you're gonna make political jokes, especially like you know, in this crazy climate that where everyone's talking about it. First of all, I don't want to hear a hacky joke. You gotta come up with a new angle. And um, just, you know, like, make sure your joke, I kind of think of my jokes as like, this isn't the best, I, I don't know anything about law, so I could be wrong about this. <laughs> but, but kind of like a legal argument where you're like, okay. I'm gonna try to, where I see people objecting, I'm gonna try to get to that and cover that in the joke before they can object to it. Like you might say something that's like, you know, people be like, I don't agree with that. And then you'll like follow it up with like a, a like something that they're like, okay, now, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know, gotcha. like you, you gotta like, I don't know, you, you gotta think of them sort of as legal arguments, which I've never done before. So I don't know if that's the right thing to say. No, that seems like a great <laughs> method. I'm sure that's why you're so successful at what you do. <laughs> I mean, personally, I think it's very well written. No, it, it is. <laughs> but I think it's also a sign of the times where it's like, you know, like I, I recorded this last August, but it came out in December, like following all this Me Too stuff, which, um, 
you know, I, I didn't plan, that wasn't like a part of a bigger scheme of mine where I was like, I'm gonna get all these men to sexually harass women <laughs> so that in 20 years I can Your release special a be special really relevant. right after Ronan Farrow, oh <laughs> you know. Like, um, so it just, you know, good timing in that. But I, you know, I think people are ready now for like women to like give their actual real opinions and, and um, you know, like, not be shy and you know like luckily i have a voice that's very grating and it's hard to um, tune out i really hate the idea that like women were like in like these pretty little boxes you know like where it's like you can't say that you're a lady and i'm like ah, screw you <laughs> i also grew up with older brothers so i was just i don't know i've always been a little dirty i guess <laughs> Um, I was gonna say Sarah Huckabee Sanders, but I don't actually want her to watch it. <laughs> Why? Because I don't want her to get the idea that she can like burn down a place. Oh, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that I would be dangerous. Like, yeah, I feel like we'd really, I feel like she'd like be like Aunt Lydia on steroids then, yeah. you know? Like where she was like, you're right, I should speak up more. I'm like, I don't know, you're speaking enough. She's like the one uh, person who shouldn't see it. Right, yeah. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I would, uh, um, Man, this is a hard question. I don't, I um, probably, well, you know what? I would give it to, I, I would want I would want Michelle Obama to watch it just because I like her. And I feel like we've probably stressed her out over like the past eight years. And maybe she could just use a laugh. <laughs> nice, know? nice, and I love that.